Today we got another power steering pump failure in this F350 right behind me. Hello, and welcome back to the channel. My name is John, and this is a 2003 F350 Super Duty Diesel 6.0 liter. If you've seen any of the videos on this channel, you'll know that we've already replaced this power steering pump twice. Twice, twice. I was towing a big trailer. We were coming back from camp and the engine started overheating. Barely made it back home. And the power steering fluid started leaking. I was only about 15, 20 miles from home. I thought I could make it. By the time I got home, this happened. All right, let's look at this. There is power steering fluid everywhere because what happened is it started leaking right here, right out of this joint right here. It's a high pressure line that goes to the hydro boost from the power steering pump. Uh, started leaking everywhere and it appears like the belt broke after we ran out of power steering fluid. Where's the belt? Oh yeah, look at that. Uh, so that is, oh, did it break or just come off? Oh my, let's see what happened. Belt might still be okay. Belt's still okay. I guess it just came off. Huh, interesting. All right, so how did it come off? Did the power steering pump lock up after it ran out of fluid? I don't know. Well, maybe the power steering... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. All right, we'll have to diagnose. I wanna see if this power steering pump is turning. It's way down there. I gotta get it from underneath though. And I'm not gonna do that right now, but I need to diagnose this. Um, let's just leave that there. So my belt might be all right. But if it if it stopped turning, I would have thought this would have just burnt and broke up. So I have no idea how that could have come off without breaking. The belt looks to be in good condition. Huh? Uh, hoping a power steering pump failure will cause the belt to jump off somehow. All right, so it's the next day out here, guys, and I'm diagnosing this truck here. So let me show you what I found. Let me get under here. Turn on this light. All right. All right, so I'm down underneath the truck. I'm looking at this power steering pump, and that is the power steering pump right there. You guys notice anything wrong with it? There should be a pulley right there where the belt goes around. It's missing a pulley. It completely came off. No, not even there. It's, I mean, look at this. What, what is this? Just metal shrot. Look at that. I don't know what that is. But, uh, okay, so that's our problem. Uh, there is no pulley on the power steering pump. Um, wow. We're gonna take that off. We're gonna have to replace that. Uh, hopefully no other damage occurred. Let's go ahead and pull the truck into the uh, pad here so we can work on it. So I'm really concerned about the, more concerned about the engine temp and if it got too hot because the radiator was certainly spraying steam out here. This is completely dry, so hoping I didn't do any damage to the engine. We need to get to that power steering pump. And we'll also replace this high pressure line as well. That's where it was leaking right there. Right, so I just got this in. And then I just got a call saying that part didn't pass quality inspection. So, so, so they sent me another one. All right, so I'm a little confused at why they would even send this if it didn't pass quality inspection. And so now I don't even know what type of truck this one came out of because I requested a F-350 that was only had 100,000 miles on it. I have no idea how many miles this one has on it. Um, or why they thought it didn't pass inspection or why they would even send it. 
if it didn't pass inspection. Anyway, there should be original uh, pumps. Um, this one came out of a 6 4x4 diesel F250 2007. This one came out of a 2006 6 -0. And here's my original one, which I took out a few months ago. So I took that one out a few months ago, put an aftermarket one in there, and then that failed. So now I'm going with the OEM. Hopefully this one will work. Had, had trouble bleeding the aftermarket one. Um, that's the one where the pulley broke off. We'll take that off in a second. Um, but I just wanted to look at these real quick to make sure they, yeah, look at that. They all look original. X9, X21. I don't know what these numbers mean, but definitely uh, original parts here. All right, well, I guess I got an extra one. You know, I don't know if this one really failed a test of some sort. If it did, I don't know why they shipped it off. So I guess we'll start off with this one. All right, let's take out the battery. Let's take out the um, air filter here. It's a little bit loose, isn't it? Take that out. And I think we're gonna have to drain the coolant. If there's any left in it, we're gonna have to drain it anyway. I don't think there's anything left. Uh, just to get down, give us some access down there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and drain some of this uh, coolant, whatever's left in it. This is my first container. It's almost full. All right, let's take off the coolant hose here. And we'll just pull that out of the way. I think that should give us room. Yeah, it gets to the power steering pump down here. One bolt, two bolt, and I think there's one on the bottom. And I'm gonna replace that high pressure line here. So this line here, I'm gonna replace this because this is where it started leaking, right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and order a new one of those guys. Replace that one. This one off, that's the return line. So I took the two hoses off. Um, well, I haven't taken this one off. I need to take that one off from the bottom. But let's just get these. This looks like I had 10 mil. I'm coming in from the uh, bottom now, and we got uh, we got two bolts up here holding the rest of the power steering pump on, and then we have an 18 mil, I believe it's 18 mil um, bolt holding that high pressure line on that we have to take off with the crow's foot, uh, crow's foot wrench. So let's get that taken off first. 18 mil. Okay, good. And that was not on very tight. I'm afraid this is going to leak a little bit of power steering fluid once I get this off, but I don't think there's much left in here. But there probably is still some. But the fact that the uh, the pump burnt up, I'm assuming it just burnt up and locked up, you know, which is evident that it completely dried out and. Uh, just came off. Yeah, that's really weird that the pump would burn up. I mean, they should design these so at least the pulleys continues to spin um, or continues to pump, but it shouldn't just lock up and break off like that. A car could cause some serious engine damage. Especially if the water pump is connected to the same system, which I believe it is. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that, bone dry. Not a drop coming out of there. Yikes. There are only three bolts holding this out. Yeah, only three bolts. Go. 
and we're out. Ah, it just stinks. I can smell it right here. Look at that. Look at this thing. I mean, you know, that's, that's like fried in there. Look at that thing. Just broke off right there, that, that pulley. Wow. Okay. All right, let's throw this in with this other bad one. But before I can reassemble with a new pump, I'm gonna take this hose off. I gotta order a new one, a new uh, high pressure line. So. so there we go. Let's order one of these and Get this back together. Right. But the problem is right here. This is where the problem. Look at that. Look at that. It's just. That's where it was leaking. This is just faulty right there. You can see it. I mean, I waited like two weeks to get this in. That's the thing about Rock Auto sometimes. I mean, they are slow shipping. Nope, oh, look at that. Look at that, it's different. Right there. That's different. Waited all this time. All this time for the wrong part. No, it's not, it's not gonna work. It's definitely not gonna work. That's wrong. That's wrong, bro. All right, I'm just gonna go to O'Reilly's or something and get this bar. This is ridiculous. But it is the wrong part, and it is completely my fault. I ordered the wrong part. I waited two weeks for that. Now, I went to O'Reilly and picked up the right part next day at 8 a.m., and it's there. So, maybe I should have done this the first time. It's not even worth sending it back, so I'm just going to eat the cost here. This is the one we're going to replace, so let's get to it. It does come with the rings here, which is great. Crush washers already installed on either end, which is really nice. I am going to install the hard end here ahead of time um, and then just snake the tube through the engine bay. But look at this guys, this is really weird. This is a different piece than this one. This has got this square block here. Um, but this one doesn't, nor does this other one over here. So now I'm somewhat concerned. Maybe they changed the design a little bit. Sure hope this is gonna fit. All right, let's at least get this started. Yeah, see, this is the this is the challenging part. <clears throat> when I'm underneath the truck, I have to use a crow's foot 18 millimeter wrench to tighten this down. It's very difficult, quarter turn. So I have to cut that clamp off. The part that I was supposed to squeeze on the other side is completely broken off. So let's just cut this clamp off. Finally. Okay, I've got this hooked up, ready to go back in underneath the truck. So let's do that now. Taking this coolant reservoir out, moving it out of the way at least, is makes it a lot easier to get this nut tightened. So this is the high, this is the upper end of the uh, high pressure line from the power steering pump to the hydro boost up here. This feels this joint feels much better than the old joint. This this has a lifetime warranty on this hose, so. Hopefully it's decent quality. All right, I got the coolant reservoir back in. I've hooked up the high pressure line back to the hydro boost. I've got this coolant pipe back in. I've got the power steering pump in with the uh, low pressure line that's uh, connected to here on. So I think all I need to do is just get the uh, cooler back on, air cooler line, uh, air intake, battery back in, fill this up with water, at least for now, and test her out. All right, well, I think I put a, I think I should have put this belt on. Well, I think I should have put this belt on before I put everything back together because now I have just made it much harder. If I had left off the air intake here, as well as this intercooler tube, it probably would have been a lot easier just to wrap this belt around there. But I'm going to see if I can throw it in 
from the bottom without having to take off any any fan shrouds or anything i don't know let's see all right i didn't film all that but i got the belt back on it took me about 45 minutes if you don't do this every day you don't know which thing it wraps around and it's just uh i don't know i didn't look at the diagram before i did it so i just had to work with it and not a lot of space there anyway so anyway it's back on so all we got to do now is put some water in it put some power steering fluid in it which is actually not power steering fluid it is um what is it transmission fluid yeah so anyway we'll figure it out uh fill that up uh bleed the system and uh see if that's all that broke you know hopefully we got it fixed hopefully the radiator system the engine everything else is fine so i don't know we'll see all right, found it. Got some of this stuff. It's Mercon 5 that you're supposed to use for this type of truck. I think it's only after 2012 you switch to the Mercon LV, which is 55. I don't know, but this is the stuff. This is stuff here. It's uh, transmission fluid and power steering fluid. I've got a little bit of Mercon 5 already filled up in the reservoir over here. I've also jacked this up off the ground, and so we can start bleeding the system, rotating the wheels left or right. But if you've seen any of my last videos, you know that this is a big problem. This is not an easy truck to bleed the power steering on. I'm very concerned I'm gonna get bubbles in there, but uh, hopefully this new OEM pump is actually going to eliminate that struggle that I had last time. We will also hook up a uh, vacuum to this as well to see if we can properly bleed this system. I want to get this up to like 15 or 20. It's holding the, it's holding the vacuum pretty well though. All right, we got about 15 pounds of, uh, is that pounds? 15. Actually, it's inches in mercury for vacuum and PSI for pounds per square inch for pressure. So I'm going to just put this down right here and turn the steering wheel back and forth. All right, after about five minutes, lost a little bit of pressure. We go ahead and take this off. Okay, it's empty. That's good. It means it's sucking in there. I gotta fill that up more. All right, after a few minutes, I uh, actually pulled up some uh, uh, fluid inside this container here. Uh, so let's check this out. Let me let out some of the pressure. I added some more fluid in here. So I think we're definitely high. Yep, plenty, plenty high in there. So I think we're almost ready to start the truck. See if we get any bubbles in there or not. Let's put some water in the radiator and start her up. We're gonna put straight hose water in here for now. It's taking quite a lot. All right. Okay, let's look up these batteries. I don't know if these still have any juice in them. I have not started this truck in over a month. Let's see if we can start this up. All right, she starts right up. That's good. Steering is nice and easy right now. Man, it's not noisy yet. Dude, that might be it, you know. I gotta take this for a test drive to see if this is really working the way, you know. You remember that old power steering pump was noisy, whiny. That probably would, yeah. OEM power steering pump, that's what you gotta go with. Let's 
drive this thing. We gotta take this for a test drive. I'm going down the driveway. I hear absolutely no whine at all in the power steering system. Nothing. Just like it used to be with the original power steering pump. I didn't have to bleed this, but for 10 minutes and that was it. That's it, that's all I want to hear. I want to hear the turbo and that's it. That's all I do here. Oh, this is beautiful. Aftermarket power steering pump. All right, let's roll a little coal air. Yeah, she's sounding good. Let's try this one more time. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that and hit the thumbs up button. That really helps out the channel. And I'll catch you on the next one. What are you guys doing over here? Huh? What y'all doing? Oh, you're the friendly one. You wanna say hello?